hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. <laughs> What is going on, Entertain? So I'm coming to y'all with another video. So we're going to do like a miniature town hall and also Bad versus Wild recap. It's like getting its own separate video. <laughs> like It's just like getting its own separate video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let me know what y'all think about this video, okay? So first thing I wanted to get into you guys is Smiley, okay? Smiley, you guys, is joining no other than now that Set up, aka now that's TV. Okay, she made a post that said, I'll no longer be returning to Zeus. I feel as if I can no longer grow with Zeus. They generally don't want to see me grow, so I decided. Oh, so she trying to grow. Oh, you trying to grow? You she trying to grow? Sapphire ain't gonna put you on the academy, bitch. Let me stop. <laughs> so I decided to partner up with now that's TV and other castmates to begin the smiley show. So please stay tuned. This one is about to be one for the books at Tilo. Here's the thing. I remember I was talking to somebody. There are some ideas. Smiley hit a nigga up that I have for Smiley to do a show. And a lot of it has to do with scamming. I'm not even joking. I'm so serious. We talked a lot about this during the after show, how there's a lot to work with when it comes to Smiley, because she does know a lot of people in the industry. Okay, she's a little bit of a cloud chaser. We all know that. But there's a lot of material to work with when it comes to her. But going to that STV, Smiley, they are going to tear you up left and right. Y'all know how Smiley's always being accused of scamming? They're going to scam her on not STV. They're going to beat the Social Security out of you, bitch. Like, I just do not think it's smart. Uh, I don't see it being a fit. I feel like not STV girls, they got a little bit more, like, it's really on their subs. They got a little bit more subs than Smiley to be on that TV. And I do feel like other people that are on that TV deserve more of the opportunity to have their own shows and stuff versus her. This is why not that TV, they be kind of rubbing me the wrong way because some of the, the ways that they move is real shysty like, and I don't like it. They'll give one person the opportunity that just came on the scene versus somebody who's been there from like the beginning. So it's kind of like, what the hell? So I see how some of the cast members feel away. But I just feel like T-Lo probably didn't give her the green light to post this. We all know how Smiley does with the cloudery of things. So I feel like she posted this prematurely. And it's not like they sat down, greenlit a show, and signed a contract. Here was her at the coming up premiere uh, where she attended and was talking to Mr. Owner. Okay? So... I don't know if this was her proof with the fact that, you know, that's going to be her show. But I just do not feel like they signed down and then signed, sealed, and delivered. I just feel like this was prematurely announced. Now, before this, Smiley got a Zeus tattoo. This is what made it more confusing. Why get the tattoo if you're going to try to be on that as TV? I'm confused. So are you going to cover it up with a not as TV logo? Okay, and give Bougie Nina, a Bougie Nina, a run for her money. Okay, because the only person who I know has a not as TV tattoo is Bougie Nina. Okay, I just don't think it's a good move. I don't think it's a good move at all. Like I, I, I'm, I'm worried for Smiley safety because the moment she gets the show, they're gonna end up putting Big Ivory on there, and they, she's just gonna go there and park her. <laughs> Ivory's just gonna walk in, knock her to the floor, and walk out. And that's gonna be the that's gonna be the show. Seriously, okay. Now Smiley didn't stop there. She's been feeling away that I guess Zeus isn't inviting her back. So she's been on a journey to expose Zeus. She even released a phone call with Nat Nat about how Nat Nat treated her on Baddie's Eve. Brace yourself for this phone call, you guys. Phone call on my phone. If you don't come over here now with the rest of the girls, it's going to go up. What do you, you can mean? do whatever you want. What do you You're mean not here by that? What do you mean? Why don't what do you, what don't you understand? I just told you what I meant by that. You will be edited however the fuck they want to make you the fuck look. You want to look like a scammer? You want every episode to be that you scam? 
You want the feds and everyone to be on your ass? <laughs> Natalie! <laughs> One thing about that, that is you're gonna come back guns blazing. But I'm gonna come back guns blazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this was funny. Natalie is something else. You wanna be like a scammer, huh? Huh? You wanna, huh? You wanna be called scam likely, huh? Really, Natalie? Now, Natalie claims this call had something to do with a whole different situation. Fine with that. I just. I you have LJ, Ashley, everyone calling my phone. If you don't come over here now with the rest of the girls, it's going to go up. What do you, you can mean? do whatever you want. What do you You're mean by that? Office. What do you mean? Why don't what do you, what don't you understand? I just told you what I meant by that. You will be edited however the fuck they want to make you the fuck look. You want to look like a scammer? You want every episode to be that you scam? Huh? You want the feds and <laughs> Okay, now she captured said the day I went and got jumped on, I wanted to stay in bed. Natalie caused me to get up and go over to the crib. I felt so sick from the miscarriage. I wanted to stay in bed, but they made me go. That's why I look like that. I was being threatened with the feds of police. I went to leave the shop at air times threatened. I guess I had to be careful because they get mad. You don't want to fall in line. They go have you look at the top of wave. Bitch. Everyone, everyone okay, now Natalie claims this was all cap. She says, <laughs> lies. Girls cut it out. All you do is scam and lie. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie is like a beast. She said, all you do is scam and lie. This is when you ran off and sat around lying for days. Like Smiley, find somebody else to play with. Head over to Not As TV. Oh, not Natalie. Big Nat Nat. Acknowledging Not As TV's existence. Because anytime Not As TV comes a conversation, Natalie acts like they don't exist. Remember when E.T. came to one of the auditions for Baddies and she said she was on Sausage of Baddies and Natalie was, ah, next! She didn't, like, really acknowledge what that was. Funny, Nat. Head over to Not As TV. We don't care. You sit up here lying daily. You mad because you didn't come back this season. It was only invited to let me party. We don't care. Shout out to Baddies Caribbean on Instagram. And she also said she put out, basically, uh, Smiley ended up putting out a DM thread between her and Nat Nat, where Nat Nat was apparently threatening her. And uh, she, uh, Smiley responded back to one of uh, Natalie's stories, said, nice uh, seeing you, sis, love you. But she DMs me daily, and when I don't respond, she acts crazy. Leave me out of your weird activity. Now, uh, Smiley said, you don't want to see everyone shine. Let's be real. This is what Smiley says to Natalie. Uh, Natalie says, Smiley, shut the up. You're mad annoying, bro. Like, shut the up, yo. Why are you always being annoying? I already won, B. I give up about you eat. Like you like you say, shut the up. This is why I don't do ish for you. Because you're so weird. As Stop messaging me before I literally block you. I put you in my show and put money in your pocket. That you talking about ungrateful app? Leave me the alone. Now, even though this is low of Nat, I just don't get her doing this to Zeus now because you've been like Zeus's damn spirit animal. Like she's gone on interviews, podcasts, etc., talking about how Zeus, you know, Zeus cut the check. You feel me? Like, so it's kind of like, what made you just have to change a heart? It's not like Zeus has fifty and one shows that you could be on. The only uh, cash cow right now is Batty. Is Baddies. I almost called it Baddies. They might as well call it Baddies. Because Baddies is riding on the back of Natalie. Okay? We're going to rename the show Baddies. Seriously. So I don't get the anger at Zeus from Smiley's point because they can really only have one show to put you on. They can't put you on, ba on Jocelyn's Cabaret because Jocelyn going to eat you up. And they're Bad versus Wild. That already filmed. Like, I don't get what else she wants from them. Not as TV. Some of those casts have sometimes a right to be mad because they have a million in one show. Okay, so I just I just don't get it. Like it just it just comes across a little clout hungry. Okay, but that phone call that that is nasty work. <laughs> she said, "If you don't come over here, I swear to God, you look like a scammer. Huh? You look like a scammer. Huh?" Now, <laughs> more drama with the baddies. 
it looks like Mariah and um, Bianca are going back and forth after the season has filmed. If you guys don't know, they started the season kind of on good footing, and then it turned badly after a while, and they ended up going against each other. Back and forth happened. Okay? Now, we haven't seen Bianca on TV since she was on Love Hip Hop beefing with BBOD. Okay? I'm, I'm sexy, Lexi, and I'm on money, and we are BBOD. They should have just brought them back to the Caribbean. Okay? I'm sexy, Lexi. All right? So, <laughs> Bianca is infamous for her threads. Now, she said, I will never go outside from anything. You bees even have no hands. I fought and literally have nothing. No black eye, no busted lip. Mind you, I have braces on. So my mouth should have been busted from fight. No marks, no bruises, not a scratch. If not getting jumped by a bunch of theophos that wouldn't do ish when they thought I had bees with me is going out sad, then oh well. Never got jumped, never will have had a black eye in my life. Never will. But back to red carpet teens, got a blast. That Bianca's a smart girl. She did not have TV and Zeus. Okay, Smiley, take those, bitch. She did not have TV first in this. Zeus. But with Bianca's case, it's different. Because if y'all don't know, this is True T. That coming up Miami show used to be Side Chicks. They changed the name, and Tilo bought it from another network. That's why the footage don't even look the same as not as TV. Sorry, Tilo. I'm telling your business. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, know, well, some people know, but I'm letting y'all know now. That's why, like, so technically it wasn't supposed to be on that TV, but he bought it, right? So still, it still worked out for Bianca beautifully because she's going to be airing at the same time because Baddies is going to drop very soon in some weeks now. Uh, now, Mariah clapped back and basically um, has some things to say towards her because this whole thing is in regards to, allegedly, they're saying that Mariah's mother was beat up by Anna Mac. Now, if y'all beating up mamas on baddies, y'all going too far, Natalie. I mean, come on. Like, come on, Natalie. And why was she allowed to bring her mother? Now, Mariah claims this didn't happen and that her and are cool. But Bianca claims it did. Bianca had even more things to say. It said she had a clap and that her eyes were still black, allegedly. Asian gave you, girl. Ain't nobody go out sad. You got your butt whooped so many times, you're delusional. I would, I went out with a bang and a kung pow, okay? You better hit, because a lot of the Zeus girls, when they say they get, go out with a kung pow, the kicks don't be hitting the way that the kick's supposed to, okay? I'm excited to see this season, though, because from what I remember, I love hip-hop New York, they used to be tight as a clam's ass, but they did have some falling out after New York sort of ended, okay? Now, let's talk Bad versus Wild. Okay, here's the thing. Oh, I get what they're doing with this show, but it, now it's getting boring. It's getting very repetitive. And the fact that they aired it back to back weeks, that's what makes Wadden out kind of great. Because although they aired back to back weeks, they had different sort of games that they would play. And they're actually comedians. These girls are baddies. So a lot of them are not comedians. So that's what makes Wadden out great because we at least get a good laugh out of it because they're comedians, right? When it comes to some of the stuff they did on Bad vs. Wild, the twerking challenges, please cut that. The girl comedian, sorry girl, she's nice and all, cut her. I really feel like they could have just made it like an all-star battle type of situation and do it like a survivor type-ish and they vote each other off. And like, that would have been more of drama and it actually still would have been competition based uh, of a show. And it could have been more entertaining than the, this Bad vs. Wild because it just comes across as like force. Um, this episode was the controversial one with light skin versus dark skin. Now they called it caramel goddesses versus chocolate goddesses or something like that. Girl, please. Okay. Now light skin versus dark skin. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, Suki looks so good in this episode. I have to note that. That's something I'll make sure to note. She looks so good. That top. That's the thing. Suki's face is very underrated. I know the lips are like, it looks like she's selling cage. I'm selling cooch. I'm selling, okay? It's huge, but Suki's actually really, really pretty. So her hair being up, it showed her face, but she looked really great. Uh, their team to me won in my eyes, the uh, Chocolate Goddesses team. Uh, it was good to see her and like Sapphire like uh, being around each other and stuff like that. Um, 
And yeah, that was mostly the episode. Like it wasn't a big drama or anything. Poor Law. They have the screensaver of the episode of he of her deep throwing the pick hole. Like <laughs> it's giving Dan Schneider. <laughs> she I, I'm talking about Lo, she I'm like, damn, that's the one picture I had to pick for the screens screensaver of the episode. But that was mostly about it. Like it was a nothing much more to the episode. I just feel like they need to go to, to back to drawing board with the show. Like they really could have called it Bad versus Wild and put the girls in the house and compete for money. Cause that's the thing. A lot of these girls, when they go on this show, they're already getting paid to be on there. So they're just like they're just having fun. But let it be like a survivor type ish where they competing for the coin and they don't get that much to be on the show. Best believe them them claws gonna come out to scratch and then we gonna get real TV. That's just what I think. Okay, let me know what y'all think down below and we're all babies. Ain't no personal thing.